So, who are you? My name's Greg, I'm Greg Valeria. I live in Chichester, leafy West Sussex. I work part-time with Fairtrade International and I program coordinate their International Fairtrade Gold Program. And then it, and the other half of my life, I am very much a contemplative activist. So I'm really looking to try and find ways of living life where I'm not necessarily drawing my primary framework from the values of the world, which sounds very abstract and very strange, but actually is a damn sight more difficult uh, when you actually try to do it. And so, Greg, would you say the church is ethical? I would say there are ethical bits of it, but I do think it's a very interesting part of our society. We, we spent many years campaigning for better ethical practice in trade, better ethical politics, you know, ethical lifestyles, ethical food. You know, this word ethical has meant a lot of things to a lot of people, but I've never actually heard it applied to the church, which is again an interesting question. We maybe just assume that the church is ethical. I would question whether it is, when you consider how much money it's got tied up in stock markets, extraction industries, pension funds that are invested into all kinds of things which basically Jesus wouldn't necessarily agree with, um, how we live our lives, how complicit are we in and the values of the world, how distinct are we from the world, all those kind of questions come springing to mind when I ask, when I think of the question ethical and church in the same sentence. So part of the Making Trouble tour is going to be about asking those questions. How do we as followers of Christ, live a life that is not dependent on the values of the world. And in doing so, I think we probably will make trouble by default.